Speaking of Pride Month, another good story. Another feel-good story. I guess. I'm not a fan of pageants. I think they're stupid. I think they're exploitive. I think they should be banned entirely. I think beauty pageants are absolutely fucking stupid. But if you're going to have them, be inclusive. And we are going to get the very first trans woman to compete for the Miss USA title. Miss Nevada is trans. Let's watch this. The first uh, one major local beauty pageant. A transgender person is now the reigning queen. Kim Passoff spoke with her, and Kim, she won the Miss Silver State. That's the biggest preliminary competition for the Miss Nevada USA pageant. Yeah, that's right, John. Cataluna Enriquez, who is transgender, has won transgender pageant. I don't want to say it because I don't want to, you know, fetishize, sexualize trans people, but it's a beauty pageant. Damn, she's stunning. Wow. Before and she's entered cisgender competitions, but this is a monumental win. She will now compete for Miss Nevada USA, the state pageant leading to Miss USA and Miss Universe pageants that were once owned by Donald Trump and two of the <laughs> most coveted crowns in the pageant world. The Silver State USA is this I have not seen any right-wing outrage about this because it's been overshadowed by Gwen Berry, who we're going to talk about next. That's what they've been all upset about today. <laughs> but I'm sure it's coming. I'm sure Tucker or somebody's going to have a piece on that this week. Very good point, Lisa. Almost everything about pageants, the glitz, the glamour. Good Lord. From a pageant that not only welcomed her, but embraced her. The Silver State competition was a great experience to me. It was honestly a celebration of womanhood and diversity and this celebration of being your true self. But the road to the crown has not been that of beauty. Ma'am, between you and little Nas X, I'm gonna have to get some bigger pants. Had mixed emotions and mixed experiences when it came to competitions. In another pageant, not in Nevada, when organizers found out she was trans, everything changed. I was asked to provide documents that were invasive, in my opinion. Uh, basically asking me to get a letter from my doctor. She was required to meet with a doctor who had to examine her and certify that she was female before Kat could compete. Something not required. How degrading! The pageant. At the same pageant, every other contestant was assigned a roommate except her. She does not want us to name that pageant in this report for fear of jeopardizing her chances in future competitions. It brought me back to the time that I was just often being told that I'm not welcome. Kat says discrimination is something she, like all transgender people, must face. Awareness of the transgender community is now Cataluna's pageant platform. It gives you a higher purpose. Cataluna says she was scared Good. At first, but she had no issues at the preliminary pageant here in Las Vegas. She won the local title, openly disclosing she is a trans person. She's now looking at the next big stage, the Miss Nevada USA pageant in June. I have a great feeling about Nevada as well, and I'm looking forward to it. Listen to my accent. Do I sound like a city slicker to you? She does not come easily and understands that some beauty pageants may not be ready for a transgender title holder. Fox 5 looked at the rules of the pageant that she said discriminated against her, and nowhere does it say that competitors must be born female. We'll keep you updated on how she does in the state competition coming up in June. For now, live... Well, of course, you know, because she was... Because she was born biologically male, that gives her an advantage in the weightlifting competition. Duh. That wingers and morons.